Hey guys, this video is brought to you by viewers like you and people that support our website codingphase.com. Go check it out. Over 20 courses in there that's going to guide you to become a developer from the beginning to becoming a pro. Is it, man? So, yeah, so what we were saying before, for those of you guys that, that missed it, a lot of, most of you guys didn't even get to hear anything. So, yeah. Basically, the dreaded death was telling me that he's from Florida. He basically came in. He has about a year in in this field. Mm -hmm. How long did it take you to become a developer? Um, I would say, like, I, I learned how to code. And I mean that loosely. Like, when I say I learned how to code, I mean that loosely. Mm -hmm. Two months. And I would say by my third month, I had a job already. So, like, I literally applied everywhere on Indeed. Even the jobs that were, like, you need 10 years of experience. Like, mm -hmm. I told you. I had like 700 jobs in like two, three days. And like, even some of those jobs were calling me back. Like the ones that like, yo, you have five years of experience. I was like, nope, but like, can you interview me anyway? So I can like write down some notes for the next one. So I was bombing interviews on purpose for the sake of having the experience to go to the next one. You know what I was taking notes the whole time, man. And that helped a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's something that I tell people all the time. It's like, when you, when you want a, a, a job, you have to actually go in there and, and actually just say, hey, I'm going to apply to every single job that's out there. I'm not going to oh, be yeah. scared. You know, it's like you can't be scared. You cannot be over here like, oh, my God, I I'm going to be bougie. I'm just going to apply to the big companies. It's like, nah, you apply to everything, man. Everything, everything, everything. My first job was like a small agency. Like I'm talking about like if you had a map, you couldn't even see them in it. And I mean, obviously, they weren't in business, right? They weren't anything big. They were in business mm -hmm. for like years before I even applied. So. Yeah, man. And you know what? I took it, man, because you know what? Sure, I could have waited an extra week or so to get like the job I really wanted. But man, I like I said, I, I didn't have I was homeless. I needed money ASAP. So I took that motherfucking job and we here, yeah. bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man, that, that's what I was telling people, too, is like, man, look, my first job, I was getting like 13 bucks an hour, bro. Like and that was because yeah. I, I went in there. I was like, yo, and it wasn't even like a, no agency. It wasn't like no web development it was like straight up a company that needed somebody that know a little bit of html css to edit products that's it right but nothing fancy bro nothing, nothing fancy. fancy but it was just like hey it's the first time going in there i'm self-taught uh yeah i had a little degree from you know uh administrative uh, systems and, and shit like that but it wasn't programming it wasn't like computer science i didn't have no background in it right, right. so they came in, they they basically took me in, and literally in three months, I said, peace, and you know, I was out. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah, because it's like... Job. You were savage, bro. You know, sometimes you you, you take these jobs, and, and you think it's like, you're going to be there forever. It's like, nah, man, you're a developer, man. You're a rock star out here. You know what I mean? Like, people yeah. want you. You got the skills. Yeah. People want you. You know what like, I mean? Right now, like, I, I keep getting recruited from, like, other places and stuff, and, like, they the job I'm at now, they found me through LinkedIn. So like they gave they gave me a chance, man. So like it's not it's one of those things where I have loyalty to them. Bro, but I have jobs that are like are willing to pay like relocation fees and all this shit. And I was like, oh man, what do I do? They're offering like 10, 15,000 more a year. Like yeah. ridiculous. But you know what? As, as developers, like I don't think I've known any anybody that has been in a job for like two, three years. We usually like bounce around from job to job. And I know that sounds weird, but it's a good thing in our case, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. we learn more and the, it's usually you get more money mm -hmm. which is always good so yeah every time that you jump to a new company uh you know companies want you because the more that you know the less that they gotta train you the less that they gotta exactly. you know be on top of you they just say okay we need an extra hand and that extra hand is here he knows what to do he knows what his job is you give him a task and he can build it when you're yep. a junior developer and you just start at the beginning you can't really ask for too much because you know damn well you need somebody to guide you. You need somebody yeah. that's gonna be the head of the you know uh, of the development team. If you're not at that level, you can't go in there like yo, everybody give me 120 thousand. If now I ain't working here, you can't go yeah, in. Yeah, like no, that. you can't go out there <laughs> showing your balls like that like so quickly. They're gonna yeah. tell you walk away. And they're gonna hire somebody else cheaper than you too. That's exactly. There, man, like you can't do that. <laughs> exactly. Somebody, some dude is just like. It's like, man, listen, it's a blessing to be here. So as soon as that dude comes in, your job is gone. You know what I mean? Gone, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And it sucks that it's like that, but it's the truth, bro. That's how the world works. Yeah, exactly, man. And it's crazy. 